We happened to come across this common snout hoverfly and naturally asked it if it would like to do a casting. She agreed and wanted to demonstrate how she sucks. She thinks she's the best at it. From its personal sheet, we learned that the common snout hoverfly is 8 to 11 millimeters long and can also remain suspended in the air. She lays her eggs on plants near cow dung and her larvae then live in the cow dung and eat it. She can lay eggs two to three times a year and she loves blue and purple flowers. But to demonstrate its sucking proboscis, she has also made do with a white flower. So she helps us to keep the pastures clean and provides us with valuable fertilizer for the plants? Yes, exactly. They and their children are beneficial insects. They are important to us. We had to fully extend our tripod to film them doing their suction technique. Filming standing up is really very uncomfortable. But what do you do to keep the actors happy? Of course, she immediately had to show off and show us that she can also suck upside down. The pollen would fall up our noses. She claims, the taut skin between the beak and the proboscis creates a vacuum and the pollen is sucked into the proboscis by inhaling. If you look closely at their belly, you can see how the pollen migrates into her digestive system. At the top of the beak, we see a valve. It opens to blow out the air and empty the bellow apparatus. The whole thing works like our vacuum cleaner. The suction trunk has two tabs at the bottom. If the tabs are pressed together, it can be used like a drinking straw. Here she shows us how one tab throws the pollen to the other, how the pollen clusters together and how she then sucks it up. An enormous speed, isn't it? Yes, indeed. Also interesting how she holds the anther of the flower and turns it into the right position for sucking. Now that was very interesting. We would like to thank the common snout hoverfly for this demonstration. She wasn't bragging. She really is a pollen-sucking master. Thank you very much. So that's it. Until later. Until then. <laughs>